Happy Friday to everybody. God bless you. Henry Fernandez here on Spiritual Nuggets. Well, we are closing out the month of March, and I am so glad that you and I were able to connect every Monday and Friday uh, where I empower you with the Word of God. You know, today's no different. I want to talk to you about getting rid of the clutter. Yeah, the clutter. You know, every now and then, you and I will go in our garage or maybe our homes and we will try to take out trash, you know, stuff that's been stored up there forever and ever. You know what I'm talking about. In fact, some of you right now, you're saying, yeah, I need to clean out my closet. I need to clean out this area of my house. Well, I believe that just like how you do that in your house or your garage, you need to do that in your life. As you live your life, there are so many times we get, you know, bombarded with all kinds of information or uh, bad influences, people that sometimes, you know, kind of crowd our thinking so we can't have clarity. Because, you know, when there's too much clutter, there's not enough room to work around. And I just think today you need to uh, get rid of the clutter. You know, get rid of what's clouding your mind. Perhaps you're been, you know, you're overthinking things, or per- probably you're hanging out with the wrong people, or you've been meditating on the wrong things for a while, and because of that, it has prevented you from dreaming. It has prevented you from being the best person you can be. You've missed your God moments. You have yet to discover the things that God has for you in this season all because you are just allowing the enemy to cloud your mind. You can't think clearly. You know, you yes, you had a bad breakup. I understand that. Yes, you know, that person walked out on you or you had to leave because in order for you to keep your sanity, you, you had to leave. Whatever the situation is, maybe your children disappointed you. Perhaps, you know, financially you're struggling. Maybe you didn't get a stimulus check. <laughs> Whatever it may be. I need you not to allow negativity to clutter your mind. So clean it out. Get rid of it. Focus on the things that are true. That's what Paul said. Watch over things are true, honest, and of good report. Think on those things. You see, when you get rid of the clutter, what will happen is you're able to think, you're able to relax, you're able to rejuvenate, you know, because sometimes, you know what, we just burn in the candles at both ends. You know, we're just overworking ourselves unnecessarily. Not when God has already paved the way and he said, cast all your cares upon me because I care for you. If he said that, then why are you bothered by the circumstances of life? Why are you so traumatized over, you know, the issues that you're going through. Turn it over to God and clear your head so that you can get up every day and embrace the new blessings, the new opportunities that he has placed before you. Listen, right now, and I'm talking about right this very moment, there are opportunities afforded you. You just got to be open to see it. You just got to clear your mind, clear your thinking, God's, oh my goodness, God's got everything that you're worried about under control. You just need to trust him. So what areas of your life you need to kind of uh, get rid of? Could you go ahead and type that right now? Type it down at the bottom of your screen. You know, there's a comment uh, um, section there. Just go ahead and type it in. Um, You know, I want to remove hate. I want to remove um, let's say, uh, bitterness. I, I want to remove this friend. I want to, whatever it is, go ahead and say what you need to remove out of your life. I want to pray for you today, man, because I'm telling you, I just, I just don't want you to miss. I don't want you to miss what God has in store for you, not just in the future, but in the now. There's so many things that God has in store for you but you've got to be prepared to receive it. You see, if there's no room in your life for God to pour more into, then, hey, 
You're going to miss the moment, man. Make space for God. Make room for him today. Father, thank you for this person. Thank you for their faithfulness. Thank you for their willingness to understand that, Lord, you you have so much you want to release in their lives, but they have to be open. They have to get rid of the clutter. And some people don't know how to do it, God. So I pray that the Holy Spirit will just give them the strength and, and the willpower to just to say, Lord, I, I'll stop that. I'll disconnect myself from those friends. I, I, I'll i not worry about these things. I, I'll forget those things which are behind me and reach forward for the things that are ahead of me. Bless them now. Give them a blast and powerful weekend, I pray. I ask, Lord, that you would let some sudden lives take place in their lives. Give them increase on that job. Lord, I even pray, I pray that somebody would receive a sudden breakthrough this weekend, not just a financial breakthrough. Let them get money they never expected. But Lord, I pray, let them get the biggest news, the best news they can ever receive in a long time. Let it happen for them. I pray for those who will be hopeful that miracles will be released into their lives this weekend. Let them see it now, I pray in Jesus' name, amen. Listen, you're going to have a great weekend if you get rid of the clutter. Remember to stream this weekend um, our services. The English is at 10 a.m. The uh, Spanish is at 12 noon. I would love for you to be a part of it, man. And the Lord bless you. Remember, today is Thankful Friday, Given Friday. Would you consider sowing a seed? You, you know God has blessed you. He has given you extra. And I'm telling you, you ask somebody who's been faithful in the area of giving. You cannot beat God in giving. He gives seed to the sower so that you can sow, so that you can reap more, so that you can sow again, so that you can reap more. So would you consider, if you've been blessed by this ministry, sow into this ministry today. If you're a member of our church, you sow through the various platforms. You can go to our website, thefaithcenterint.org slash give. If you are a partner with Henry Fernandez Ministries, just go to Henry Fernandez. Uh, dot com. Click on the give link. And then you can give by cash app. It's so easy. Dollar sign TFC give. That's it. You got the cash app. So why don't you let the Lord speak to you? Say, Lord, what should I give to uh, this ministry to help them empower uh, others and continue to empower me on a weekly basis? That's the cash app. Dollar sign TFC give. And then text to give is 73256. 73256, and then you use the uh, keyword TFC, give one word, no space. I love you, and I hope to see you in church virtually this weekend. And by the way, remember, Easter celebration is coming up, our resurrection weekend with our Good Friday uh, service. It's a virtual service. We're serving communion, so you got to be ready from the comfort of your home, workplace, wherever you are, you can partake in communion and so forth. And then three services on Easter Sunday, 8 and 10 a.m. is our English services, and then at 12 noon is our Spanish service. I love you, my friends. God bless you. Faith in your God will always move mountains out of your life.